Okay guys, uh, this video is going to be about telomeres and uh, what is telomere? You know, telomere is a specialized structure of eukaryotic chromosome that is present at the terminal region of the chromosome or let's see here in this picture as you can see that these are the two parts called telomere that is the end part of the chromosome right because you know eukaryotic chromosome uh, is linear because eukaryotic DNA is also linear and to prevent that DNA from further damage there is a specific structure at both the terminal of that chromosome it is called telomere and the structure that is present at this terminal region is having either formation of loops or it can be uh, it, 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 it sometimes have the repeated sequences repeated sequences as you can see here the DNA that is present in the telomeric region has a repeated sequence like you know G G G G T T then G G G G T T so like that four G's then two T's and that's that's how it's kind of repeated throughout the telomeric region and it's a huge and long repeat of the DNA sequence that is present there like that not only they have this repeated sequence but also they have a loop formation with the DNA at the terminal of this repeated sequence so this sequence is kind of uh, kind of fixed but it is slightly varied between species to species uh, as you can see here it is from the tetrahymena and for for human that is slightly different but but that's kind of thing because they have a repeated sequence in all the different species okay now the telomere is supposed to prevent uh, the chromosome shortening you know chromosome shortening so let me write chromosome shortening chromosome shortening is a phenomena during the replication of eukaryotic chromosome and uh, during the replication of eukaryotic chromosome each time after each replication cycle they lost a particular part of uh, the telomere during each each session to prevent that from happening there is a repeated sequence of the dna so that even though they lost some amount of uh, chromosome from the terminal region ultimately they they have all the necessary coding region of the DNA present because if you look at here in this chromosome you can find this this dark blue color sections uh, are there and light color sections are there both of the sections are there now among them suppose light color sections are the coding regions so these are the coding regions actually all the necessary coding regions which code for proteins are present but if you look at, at the telomere there is no coding sequence present because telomere is not somewhere which is responsible for producing proteins. It is only responsible for preventing rest of the coding and non-coding sequence of the chromosome, right? So that is what the function is. Because, you know, even if you have lost some amount of telomeric DNA sequence from the end, ultimately it will not reach any of these coding regions because the telomere is large and it is forming the loop with many different proteins to form complexes. It's a huge complex and uh, complete structure of telomere is not yet been depicted but it's under the very very you know, high influence of research nowadays. Right. So that's that's all about how telomere is, looks like and the function of the telomere. Now if you look at here a simple experiment to find the function and importance of telomere inside the cell. You can see that uh, they took the yeast cell, right? And inside the yeast cell there are chromosome of yeast cell. And what they do here they 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 synthesize artificial chromosomes. These are called artificial mini chromosome because they are very very tiny and small. So they get these mini chromosomes and they insert these artificial mini chromosomes into the yeast cell, inside the yeast cell and allow this chromosome to be present there. And as a result what they find here that these artificial mini chromosomes are uh, much more vulnerable to damage and they have this end shortening, this end, end shortening. You can see the telomere as they don't have any telomere in this artificial mini chromosome ultimately after certain rounds of cell division they have seen that that the the length of this chromosome start to shrink and it is shrinking very very fast right and ultimately they are losing some amount of information there and in second experiment what they did they took this artificial mini chromosomes 
and and from other type of individual for example from tetrahymena they cut this telomeric dna out and add those telomeric dna with the artificial mini chromosomes now the artificial mini chromosomes are prevented and they are guided with telomere at both the ends then they reinject this mini chromosomes inside the yeast cell and after certain rounds of cell division those chromosome remains as it is they don't get any damage they don't have any damage they, they don't lose any amount of dna from the terminal end and that is telling us the importance of telomeric dna because the telomeric dna can prevent uh, the chromosome uh, from external damages and also the end replication problem how they cope up with the end replication to cope up with the end replication problem they use as an enzyme called telomerase now this telomerase enzyme can build that repetitive dna sequence that we have seen at the telomeric region of tetrahymena chromosome for example if you look at here this telomerase enzyme has a rna template associated with itself which acts like in a template to synthesize rest of the dna right so they have this this sequence rna template sequences right and they also have the three prime hydroxyl region there so as they have all these regions associated what they do actually they went and they put this sequence this rna sequence as a template there and they start incorporating newer dna nucleotides into that position using that rna template right or having that rna as a template and they start elongating the terminal regions of the dna and they start elongating only one particular terminal because if they can elongate one one side of the dna the other complementary dna strand can be easily synthesized using that larger dna strand right so the telomerase is there they use this sequence so if you look at here the rna template of the telomere of the telomerase enzyme for tetrahymena have four c's and two a's as they are acting as a template the opponent strand the complementary of this strand will be will have 4g and 2t and that's what the repeated sequence is all about as you can see here from this end 4G then 2T, 4Gs, 2Ts and that's how they start adding all those nucleotide sequences and they will add the sequence in multiple locations so after so that you know during the replication times if even if they got some damage they ultimately won't reach the actual coding region which starts from this particular point right so it's extremely important right for example if you look at here if you look at here that do you, if, if they have a strong telomere and telomerase is acting all the time during replication they won't loss they won't lose any further dna information right and that is what telomerase is all about that's what telomere is all about it is preventing aging it's help in uh, prevention of the aging right so that's kind of it guys and i hope that's helpful thank you